Hey YouTube. So, uh, we got all the braces on there, on this thing, this catapult, and uh, now we're working on the wheels. And, um, you know, one of the things that we like to do, and I guess it was handed down, is to do stuff and not buy anything. Make do with what you have. So here's what we came up with for the wheels. We have, um, I had some three-quarter inch bar, or I mean pins, for uh, concrete forming. So I welded a washer on one end. I'm going to put this through the, top, the wheel. And we ended up having to screw the wheels together because the glue is so old that I have that it didn't want to dry. So we screwed the wheels together with four um, drywall screws. So we'll drive this through that and then put a, this shim in behind it so the wheel doesn't hit the frame. And I'll show you what that looks like here. So you can see in there, the, down inside there, the plastic is holding the wheel away from the wood. And then on this side, I was going to put a cotter pin or something in there, but I decided to just drive a drywall screw in on an angle. And that's nice and tight in there. And besides, the shaft is actually tight. I had to drive it out. So, good enough for what we need at the moment. Got this one on as well. Like I say, they're not driving it anywhere. It just has to be able to move it. So, we're getting there. Okay, well we got the four wheels on. Um, got to get a front end alignment done on this thing. <laughs> so, anyway, we got the wheels on and now we're going to pick it up and take it off the cart. And um, then let it sit on the ground for itself. So I can reach the top of the things to put the cross arm in that's going to hold the... Uh, what's he, what do you call that fancy arm up there? The payload? The payload beam. The payload beam, okay. Push it. Here, it roll. Here, it roll. Don't push it too far. So it'll fall down. Yeah. So we got the side braces on. You can see them there. This thing's solid as a rock. Believe me. So we got that side braces on both sides. The tires are on, or whatever you want to call them. And we drilled the hole. This was a toughie, an inch and a half wood hole through there, and lined that up for this. This is actually, for you guys who worked heavy construction, this is a piece of drill steel from a wagon drill. So I'm going to use that to uh, run this um, payload arm on. So the arm's going to fit over that and then swing back and forth or whatever. Got to figure the rest of that out. So, here we are so far. Yeah. Alright, got to work on the next piece. Alright, so what we did now is we put the entire beam on and then we attached a bucket for the counterweight. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure how much weight we have. So because we're throwing a half pound softball from this end over here, uh, we need 133 times that, which is roughly 66 pounds. So we're going to weigh that now. We have a bucket filled with like lead. So I got to test it. That should be about like 65, 66. 65 it looks to me. Okay. All right. And then we're going to put that in that bucket. And the next thing we're going to make would be the sling. So. All right. So we've got the bucket filled with uh, lead and various other components. <laughs> and uh, we made a sling out of a piece of rubber roofing. And this thing is supposed to hang on here somehow like this. So we're not, this is our test. We have no idea what's going to happen, but we're going to try it.
Okay, that's a start. Hmm. I want it to go further than that. Yeah, I was just thinking, why did it not go further than that? So we've been experimenting with it and we seem to only be able to get like 30 yards out of it to throw something. Um, we're supposed to be throwing a softball. I don't have a softball. We're going to have to go get one, but we've been throwing a block of wood. A piece of wood about the size of a softball. So, um, we're going to have to do some more R&D on this thing. And right now I'm getting tired. It's getting close to supper time. So, um, yeah, can't really say nothing about it because it needs some work. So we'll see what we can do with this and when we get some real gain out of it, then we'll be able to know what's happening. Hey YouTube, well you can see it's dark already. We put 12 hours in on this thing. Uh, I'm gonna have to talk to my grandson about time and a half for overtime because this is this is a lot of work. Anyway, um, we got it all together and it is working. We got a bucket full of lead up there, so it's pretty a lot of counterweight. Um, at this point, we're throwing a small block of wood. It's actually a four by four piece of a four by four four by four, right? Uh, in a pouch. Got a little trigger mechanism there so we can pull the rope like the artillery guys. And uh, I'll tell you what, it throws about 50 yards at the moment, but he's not satisfied with that. They're not here right now. My wife had to go into town, but um, yeah, they're looking for, I think he's thinking this thing to put the ball out of sight, which I doubt. I don't know, but it seems to be working pretty good to me, but it's throwing a ball around 50 yards, a block around 50 yards. So maybe we need something more aerodynamic to throw. <sighs> it's been a long day, guys. Hope you enjoyed these little series of videos here. Uh, when it's throwing the length of the road up there, then we'll put another video up. Ay ay ay. I asked for grandkids. Have a good one.